Hey guys, Nate here with the Volunteer Tech Vlog on the Live Sound 101 YouTube channel. This is a test of my home studio setup right now. Right now my eyes are looking at my face and right now my eyes are looking at the camera. So I'm testing out this screen I got in the back. So I'm thinking about doing a video about the TF5, um, but I want to just see kind of how the lighting is and how this all works because uh, I usually just put the phone up in my car and away I go and um, I guess if I'm going to be in my home studio I don't really want to do a lot of production but I want it to look halfway decent so I'm trying to find that happy spot so this is my first test just to see um, if you can see the image behind me the brightness is set right and then if you can see my face properly or if I need to you know make some adjustments like uh, like this right now if I take this see now you're probably gonna see my face a little better but you're also gonna get that bright spot on the screen right there and um, I don't exactly have a professional lighting setup here I'm just kind of working with what I got but I wonder if this thing can go like that does that make a difference make a difference I know I got those lights back there I guess I could try to set one of them lights up and see how that works yeah why don't I do that oh boy this is gonna turn into a lighting video here but it's it's fun to show you guys behind the scenes kind of what's happening here um, that, that TV behind me there is a, uh, a Roku TV I got on a Black Friday sale it's uh, pretty much a piece of junk that I bought for like 200 bucks. But it fills the need of having a cool image behind me. And if that's all I really want it for, yeah. No, I do have to say though, the user interface with the Roku TV is uh, is pretty good. I do like the, the, the um, where is it? Oh, little remote that it comes with. I mean, this is just like super simple to operate. Um, so that's good. But I'm not too, too impressed with the quality of the uh, oh the quality of the old uh, Roku TV there so this is like a five dollar work light uh, it's got that little clamp right there poor man's uh, lighting setup here for sure but uh, for YouTube and stuff you know it gets the job done so if I turn this on ready <clears throat> La! whoa that looks horrible but I can play around with the positioning of it and I can actually get my face lit halfway decently. It's funny. See, that's what I want to avoid that little the hot spot in the screen back there. Um, so I'd like to have, yeah, I think I'd like to have something. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit more off center. Yeah, something like that would. Seems to seems to work now. Just to give you an idea of the difference that little light makes, I can uh, turn that off. Now I want to kill this light because originally I wanted to get rid of that hot spot back there because I don't really want that to show. But now let's see if I do something like that. Now this might work. Something like, something like that looks halfway decent, I think. Only thing is, I also want to be able to be at my computer. And right now, my chair is kind of in the middle of the room. I have to, like, reach for my computer. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just doing some test here. Some testing here with the lighting. Um, but where would I clamp this? See, the nice thing about these lights is that you can clamp them. What, do I get some down lighting? Hmm. I kind of like that, though. That's kind of like... I feel like that looks halfway decent right now, but I just have nowhere to really clamp it, you know what I mean? I don't need... This light is super cheap, though. Let's see here. See, that's a little too close. And then the light kind of... Let's see what we can do here. Click it up here. Hmm. See, right where I was holding it was the perfect spot, but I just have nowhere to clamp onto. 
unfortunately. Let's see here. I think that is probably, let's see here, before <clears throat> and after. Eh. No hot spots on the screen. My face is a little bit darker than I'd want it to be. <clears throat> Let me revive this guy again, but I will point him at the wall. You know, that even if I point that guy at the wall, there's still a little hot spot. But you know what? My head covers it anyway. I think this is going to be good enough. So, that was a six-minute, essentially, lighting test here. And I didn't really even talk about the Yamaha TF5. I think I talked more about the Roku TV. But uh, doing some experiments here. I'm thinking I've been collaborating with Dave Dolphin. Um, talking with him on the phone. Trying to maybe do a collab video. He featured me on his channel over at the Practical Worship blog. And we were talking back and forth about maybe doing a, another type of collab where I feature him on my channel. And um, I was thinking it would be cool if I utilized the display behind me. So I'm just experimenting with with different uh, scenarios here, different, different setups. Of course, my, my audio right now is... Uh, Let's see here. My audio is just it's just the audio on the built-in microphone in the Samsung Galaxy S5, which I'm using right now. And uh, my audio could be a whole lot better because I do have a pretty nice microphone, a Shure Beta 87, and a little uh, analog Mackie mixer there, a little dusty mixer there. So I could pump some potentially much better quality. Uh, of course, I got my my tripod here. See what you're looking at right there. Oh, don't look at my rack. I'm embarrassed at my rack. It's messy. You know how that. You know how that goes. It starts off nice and neat, and then over time, it just you know you add things, you take things away. But um, anyway, this is my little my little home office here. So um, yeah, I'm just trying some some new things here, and uh, yeah, I think I like this. I think it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty comfortable. The only thing I want is like. My laptop right here is just a little bit too far away. Maybe if I get like a wireless keyboard mouse or something like that. But it's like it's like just beyond reach. Actually, I guess I, I guess I can reach it right right here. Oh, what the Roku TV? See, this is why I do tests. What? Why did you fall asleep? Wake back up. Ah. So this is interesting. So after about uh, eight minutes or so. The Roku TV will fall asleep. Interesting. Now, I'll have to look at the settings on that. So right now I'm just casting that image from my phone back up there. But what I could do is a whole bunch of different things. I could do a Skype call and send the Skype conversation back there, but then pump in the the, the, the audio, mix the far end and, uh, and, and the local end here, my microphone. And, Plug it right into the uh, the little little jack on the side of the phone here, um, and just use my phone as a recording device. Because what I'm trying to think about is workflow. That's the there's a whole the whole reason for this project, the whole reason for this vlog about live sound was to uh, do it with the least amount of production. Um, and that kind of goes against the grain to a lot of live sound type of things because you want to put in a ton of work and a ton of production and do a really polished, high quality thing. But what I came to realize is if I set the standard too high for myself, I just won't create content. And there is something valuable about pumping out new content that mm -hmm. sometimes can trump production value. And I'm getting a low battery. <laughs> indication on my phone right now so uh anyway that's enough jibber jabbering for me so this will be my vlog video for uh let's see here wednesday i guess i could get a usb cable if i keep this thing charged 
So this will be my vlog video for December 21st, 2016. Can you believe it? December, it's almost Christmas. I can't believe that. You know what, I gotta, I gotta do something special for Christmas. This is a little project before this battery dies here. Did a little project with my daughter and my dad. Did a little, uh, little uh, Christmas tree, like a little from the hobby shop, from actually from Do It Yourself Electronics. If you're in the Boston area and you're an audio video geek, you certainly know <laughs> You Do It Electronics. It is a staple in the area. And I bought this little, just this little hobby kit there where you just solder on those LEDs and capacitors and resistors and it's just old school analog circuit and the trees blink and it does its little thing. And so, uh, yeah, we had, had, had a good time doing that. Just powered with a little nine volt here. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Since by the time I upload this video, it will be uh, almost Christmas time. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And uh, with that, I will close out this video. Hope everybody's doing well. My name is Nate. This is the Volunteer Tech Vlog on the Live Sound 101 YouTube channel. This has been a test of my new office setup.